This tutorial explains how to replace multiple spaces in a character string by a single space using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our character string contains multiple spaces at the same positions. So let's assume that we want to replace these multi spaces by only single spaces. Then we can apply the G sub function as you can see in line five of the code. And within the G sub function, we need to specify a relatively complex code. So I will put this code into the description of the video so you can copy and paste it from there. And then we need to replace this by an empty string. And then we also need to specify the name of our data object and we need to specify the Perl argument to be equal to true. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have removed all spaces at the beginning of our character string and at the end of our character string. And we have replaced the multi spaces by only a single space. So as you have seen in this first example, we can use the G sub function of base R to replace multiple spaces by a single space. However, we can also use the string R package for this task. And this is much simpler. And for that reason, I also want to show you this as an additional alternative. So in order to use the functions of the string R package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines seven and eight. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the string R package, such as str squish. And we can apply this function to our data object X. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom that exactly the same output has been returned as by the G sub function. However, this time the code has been much simpler compared to base R. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.